السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو آئی ہیو دس بورڈ ون آف مائی فرینڈ ہی از فیسنگ پرابلم ان دس بورڈ ہی سینڈ می میسیج ٹو مائی واٹس ایپ نمبر دیٹ ہی از فیسنگ سم پرابلم اینڈ دس بورڈ از ناٹ پاورنگ آن ہی سینڈ می ان دس ڈائگرام ہی از فیسنگ ایشوز ہیئر here he have 300 330 volt and he does not find the voltage on this capacitor here and no feedback he mentioned all these items he cannot find voltage at these points so he have no output here say, he said this 4.3 volt is fluctuating and we will see why these voltage are fluctuating This power supply is not a one power supply, it is part of two power supplies. It is combination of two power supplies. If we see left more side, it have filter and protection circuit. Then we have two bridge rectifiers, not one. And we have two capacitors, 450 volts. this capacitor is charging one capacitor and this line is charging second capacitor this board is used in lg and its power lg receiver lg dvd cd dvd receiver and it have this part number lg 6870 634r 6343 ac r lg t 6345d dvd this is part number for this power supply so this power supply is in this shape if we see here is input connector ac connector and then we have fuse voltage arrestor diode rlc filter and uh, then we have two bridge rectifiers 901 and 902 every bridge have current limiting resistor and they are charging these capacitors 904 c904 and 905 so 904 is biasing this system and this is feeding this system so we have two power supplies every power supply switch mode power supplies this smps is using dl 0365 m 360635 0365 and this chopper transformer after chopping it will give voltage and output and we have here set of diodes 1 2 3 4 and every set have capacitor in the output and then we have filters here this is filter area 1 2 3 filters inductors after that we have these capacitors in the output and here is feedback circuit these resistors this uh, ic941 this is voltage reference and then there is optocoupler 1 2 give feedback this ic if the system is working normal if it have no problem at that time this ic will work properly if we have any problem in any system any power supply especially 5 volt section because it monitors the main power supply that is 5 volt section if we have any issue in power supply if we have any problem in any one of the regulator any one rectifier system any one filter circuit it will make problem suppose other power supply will get low it will be change in the result we will not good we will not find good voltage he is finding 8 volt for 8 volt there is a circuit this diode 8 volt is connected to 9 volt ic 
seven eight R zero nine. So he have problem in this section. Let's start the circuit and let's uh, see it. So all the circuits are working like this. Then there is an other switching circuit that is a transistor and optocoupler. Okay, this transformer it have only one secondary. It does not have any sec uh, auxiliary winding. But this transformer using two auxiliaries when it will start switching it will generate voltage two types first it will charge one capacitor to give vcc to bias up its own ic and secondary it will charge the second capacitor second capacitor voltage will be controlled by this transistor and when we will take power control command this transistor will charge this pulse width modulator when it will apply vcc voltage to this capacitor so it will start functioning and we will take output voltage here come to this diagram we have 220 volt connector here we have fuse holder so fuse is for protection over current protection then we have voltage arrestor for over voltage protection if we have any problem any time it will give a direct short circuit so this is for protection then we have 1.5 mega half watt resistor capacitor resist inductor so this is RLC filter to pass a specified frequency the other frequency it will discriminate and it will also protect the surge current then we have LC filter the first one is RLC and second is LC filter so this filter will also purify the frequency and it will protect any electromagnetic induction to the circuit and it will remove unwanted harmonics unwanted frequency spikes after that if we see the two lines from this filter LF902 are coming upside this is phase or this is neutral we can say anyone this line is connected to one bridge rectifier and the same line is connected to second bridge rectifier and this line is connected to one and second so both rectifiers both bridge rectifiers are separate they are independent they are taking 220 volt AC independently after that if we see the negative end of both if we see the negative end of both bridge rectifiers are connected together and they are connected to the DC line DC ground line so this is connected to DC ground and if you see the output of BD901 from TH901 this power resistor it will charge C904 capacitor and it will charge through this resistor C905 C904 bridge number one it will apply voltage to t901 so t901 it have voltage in its primary and the primary second end is connected to this ic what is that ic it is fsdm 0365 fsdm 0365 so this ic is green mod Fairchild power switch very smart PWM controller it uses very less components it uses only it needs only two three components and it starts oscilla oscillation and it does not need any extra feedbacks and everything just only if we look at this table DL321 DH321 
DL0165, M0265, H0265, 365, M0365. These all are same. Their working principle, package, everything is same. Just only the difference is the wattage. 0365 is 30 watt. 321 it is 17 watt. 321 is 17 watt, 23, 27 and 30. So this IC is available in this wattage level. So all ICs are same. We can discuss any one IC. But we are here we have 0365. So first we will see its simple circuit in the data sheet. So this IC if we see after bridge rectifier we have capacitor and we are taking VSTR this is the voltage applied to this IC when there is nothing available these voltage will apply it and pin number 1 is connected to ground pin number 678 connected to transformer winding it will start switching then we need just only one resistor IPK that is current limiting resistor so it will start switching when it will start switching just only with this one resistor one or two resistors in this line one resistor normally and connect this pin to ground and this will start switching when it will start switching we will find the voltage in the output and it will be rectified when these voltage are rectified there is a voltage reference or zener and it will give a excitation voltage to the optocoupler and optocoupler will energize its transistor so when it will energize the output transistor this is the part of this optocoupler so it will connect this ground line to feedback pin when feedback pin will go low pulse rate modulator will go in running mode the same time there will also induction in the auxiliary winding it will discharge it will rectify and it will charge this capacitor vcc capacitor and this vcc capacitor is basically a measurement device in this pwm it will measure the voltage it will compare the voltage if the voltage are within the limit it will work properly if the voltage are above or low limit so this IC will adjust its out output frequency sorry output pulse width is switching time so that it will find a required voltage level let's move to diagram this diagram this pin is connected to pin number 678 pin number 1 is connected to ground pin number 3 is connected to pin number 4 of optocoupler feedback pin and here pin number 3 is connected to ground when this optocoupler will work it will connect the ground level to pin number 4 we can say it will give a forward biasing voltage through this transistor because when optocoupler will work the transistor drops only 0 0.5 0 0.6 volt and 0 0.6 volt difference will be applied to this pin number 3 of IC that is feedback pin so pin number 5 is connected to 56k 56k two resistors are connected to the VC main voltage line 330 volt 400 volt so this 110k resistor is connected to pin number 5 it will start its switching what is the function of this IC how it is working pin number 678 are drain pin number 1 is ground VSTR we discussed 110 ohm resistor that is here at pin number 5 
IPK resistor if we install current limiting resistor then it will limit the function of this IC to a specific wattage otherwise it will work in full wattage range so we can take maximum current when this limit is not installed then it is connected to read feedback now in first step it will work in I start in the soft start mode because when this VCC voltage are not available it will start soft start that is a limited current to turn on the power when we will find switching we will generate voltage in the auxiliary we will get VCC voltage here when this voltage will arrive so this clamp will move to soft start from soft start to normal running when it will go to normal running this voltage will be applied to comparator and it will compare the voltage if the VCC voltage which is coming from auxiliary winding if the volt it will compare that voltage with its chip voltage if these voltage are good then we it will say VCC good and V reference it, it will send internal biasing it will activate all the chip so when it will activate all the chip that time it will find V feedback if the V feedback is not good is not within the limit it will go to brust mode so it will start the bunches the packets of pulse width modulation if the feedback is good it is low then it will go to normal mode and the optocoupler will connect the ground level at V feedback and this pulse width modulator will start switching drive gate of this MOSFET and MOSFET will work in routine and it will adjust its pulse width depending upon the VCC how much is VCC that is also as a feedback circuit and it will fix the modulation frequency using VCO now it started these components are a reverse polarity remover a reverse peaks remover when this pulse width will switch the first switching in the working period it is a reverse bias when the pulse width go in off state in the off period at that time it will generate a reverse EMF a reverse EMF are as a reverse peak it will forward biased in that time and it will remove the oscillation effect of the coil and it will de-energize the coil for next switching when switching will start we have one two three four four winding in the output in that case we will find voltage this voltage will be rectified from these six diodes here one two three four five six these diodes will rectify the voltage and these will charge these capacitors and after that we will find voltage at these filter inductors and after that we will find voltage at 78R05 this is RC's R series regulator this is 4 pin regulator it have one extra pin normal 7805 have 3 pins these regulators have 4 pins so it is power control pin if the power is available here and this pin is low at that time this IC will disable its output it should have 5 volt to take output if 5 volt is missing from here you cannot find the voltage here if we have problem here in this section this 5 volt will not appear at this IC so we will find this fluctuation in this voltage the first 
problem if we have problem in 5 volt it will not get it will not give 5 volt so we have to test check this IC because if this IC is not giving 5 volt at that time this IC will not operate because they are, these are interlaced to each other control command control 5 volt will come to this IC at pin and then we will get voltage and the output so if this IC is not working or we have problem in the in this area we will not find find voltage activation voltage control voltage to this IC because everything is connected to interconnected to each other if switching will not done here we will find anything bad it will not make switching when it will not make switching we will find nothing here and if we find voltage here our 5 volt section is not working that time we cannot find the 9 volt we cannot find any output so we can say because these voltage are power sensitive voltage this this line this voltage so any circuit have problem we will not find voltage the first voltage go from this line p sense it will go to circuit and circuit will give the control command this voltage will go to the board and board will apply back this voltage to this control ic these are independent from any circuit it is just only rectified and ballast at this C922 capacitor in th in this condition we will find a switching voltage power control voltage to this optocoupler and this optocoupler will to this regulator sorry this regulator will apply voltage and same time we are taking to 3.3 .3 volt at same time this command will go to this optocoupler power power control command through our resistor here we have resistor in the series of 5 volt section so this power control command will apply here this power control through this resistor and it will control we should find voltage in the output so it should control ok now when the voltage will start in the output we will find these two lines from 5 volt section the first line is connected through this R941 to pin number 1 of this IC and the second pin ground pin is connected to this ground this is ground line from the first and second out of supplies and it is connected to this voltage divider network so our 5 volt if we see 5 volt from from plus side to this ground side it is connected here so we will also apply this voltage from this voltage divider network to this capacitor and 431 TL431 or KA431 and it will generate a standard reference and we will apply to pin number 2 here so this optocoupler will start functioning when the voltage are in good shape within the required level so it will switch and it will conduct the ground level with a forward junction voltage to pin number 3 so this IC will start switching properly if we have any error in the voltage, any short circuit, any abnormality in the output, at that time this IC optocoupler cannot take a proper feedback. When it will not give a proper feedback, so this IC will not work properly and it will move to brust mod. Then we have two windings in the auxiliary section the first winding if we can check it here resistor diode first capacitor C907 10 microfarad 50 volt it will charge this capacitor and we have one zener 22 volt maximum 
and then we have here pin number 2 that is VCC pin so we will get this voltage at pin number 2 we have an other auxiliary winding we can see here R902 D902 C908 this is a rectifier section for second auxiliary, second auxiliary winding and we are getting this voltage at this transistor if this IC is off so this transistor will open at that time the maximum voltage will apply to base of this transistor and it will go in off state it will not conduct so we cannot pass this voltage in the output when the power on command will appear this IC will conduct 3 and 4 with the forward junction of transistor so ground will connect it to these two resistors we can say it will become as a voltage divider network so this transistor will forward biased and this voltage will switch to the output through this 10 ohm resistor and it will appear at the IC KAM0365 IC this is pin number 3 VCC pin C911 this small capacitor C911 and here is 906 C91 and this is R906 R906 and this capacitor are here R906 and this capacitor is here this IC will work it will start switching from pin number 2 pin number 2 is its a drive pin drain pin pin number 1 is connected to ground as a source pin and pin number 4 have feedback it is very simple IC it have just only 4 pins pin number 4 feedback pin number 1 ground pin number 3 feed VCC pin number 2 is drive drive so just only very simple circuit it will start switching what we need for switching we just only need VCC and 400 volt to this capacitor in that case it will start switching now when it will start switching we will take output voltage in the output section and that time we will take the voltage across this capacitor the ground line is connected to the reference negative end anode end and the voltage from positive voltage from the capacitor are connected to pin number one through this resistor 470 ohm and positive voltage also connected to this voltage divider network and it will divide and we will take voltage here it will work properly it is a good working condition and we will get voltage 36 volt positive and ground minus 9 minus 34 these all voltage will be available in the output connectors in good working condition now we can come to the faults my friend have problem in this 8 volt 9 volt so for 8 volt and 9 volt he must check the first section that is pin number 4 if pin number 4 of this IC will not get 5 volt this power supply will not work he must find 5 volt here in the pin number 4 power on power control okay if power control is not working this diode is not working this IC will not work and when it will not work it will not give 5 volt to this control pin so this voltage will be fluctuating if we have fluctuation here we have problem here if any one capacitor here is not working properly it will be loaded the voltage will drop it will make switch it will make problem if this voltage regulator is not good you will not find the good voltage so we have to check these sections now there is a big problem 
when there is oscillation when there is a fluctuation when there is not stable output all the circuit will not work properly you can bypass to test the circuit by replacing this optocoupler with a diode to give a local reference it is just only for testing if anything is short we cannot check it or we have to check all the component one by one we have to remove every component just only connect one diode cathode to pin number three and anode to pin number four of any diode you can take any diode just only a forward biasing you will bypass all the other circuits and this circuit will take a reference stand alone reference so this ic will assume that the all circuit is working properly because it need only 0.5 volt forward biasing so it will start functioning when it will start functioning it will start switching you will you can measure the output voltage in the connector it is a very good technique to turn on the pulse switch otherwise it will turn on then go off we can we cannot determine where is the problem because any power supply is going abnormal it will immediately turn off the pulse width modulation so you have to start the pulse width modulation by replacing this diode this optocoupler and this optocoupler will be replaced we can check the voltage here any one voltage if we can say the 9 volts are making problem yeah if we have 5 volt problem if 5 volt is missing you can troubleshoot the 5 volt section very quickly if we have any component short suppose i say this transistor is not good it will affect on the circuit so you can in this way because we need a proper injected voltage here how we can inject the voltage that is only the one condition just only bypass this circuit when you will bypass and it will work properly then you have to monitor the voltage in the vcc pin pin number 2 and ground if this voltage are good you have to check it or uh, even after bypassing this circuit if we don't have a good feedback good voltage good fluctuation good if we don't, we don't have a good working system then replace this capacitor most of the time this capacitor goes bad it decreases the capacitance so you have to replace this capacitor and it will work properly then you can check the switching from positive and pin number 678 in ac voltage you will find 10 to 20 volt ac on the pin 678 and positive section that is switching voltage if the ic is working you will find the switching these are the basic tips if you have fluctuation in any one capacitor main capacitor you have to first of all you have to check it if you have short circuit fuse is blowing you have to test the input circuits if you have fluctuation in the main capacitors you have to troubleshoot that circuit this bypassing is just only for testing when you find the problem remove the bypass diode from all optocouplers and in that case you will find a proper output inshallah and if you have any question let me know in the comment box and if this video is good for you like subscribe and share if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button yes i did not discuss this section this section is regulator for 3.3 volt we have 3.3 volt output here and this is 2.1 volt regulator this circuit it will regulate the voltage at 2.1 volt this is 3.3 volt regulator 
seven eight R three three. This is three point three volt. Zero nine nine volt regulator, five volt regulator, and the same time this winding will give voltage minus nine minus thirty four volt and FL voltage, FL positive and FL negative. So this voltage will be applied to the system if the working system is working good. I hope so. This video is good, informative. If informative, subscribe it, like it, and if you want to watch my future videos, press bell icon button if you want. Thanks for watching. And if you did not visit my Urdu channel to watch my videos in Urdu language, go to Hasib Electronics Urdu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.